Okay, now we can move on to presentations. Uh, if you want to turn to tab number six, uh, first up we have Kathy Willis and her team for a um, departmental update. She is our director of community services. And, uh, she has her team here with her this evening and Sparks. All right. Good, Good evening. evening. Um, we're here for our regular update and um, wanted to go through just some basics of the Department of Community Services. And I think we wanted to start um, to honor Older Americans Month which is um, part of a federal law that was established in 1965 to provide services for persons over the age of 60. Um, and we would like to recognize them today by starting with that proclamation, if you would like so. That is Proclamation 2223, it's uh, tab six, page five. Whereas Queen Anne's County includes a growing number of older Americans who contribute their strength, wisdom, and experience to our community. And whereas Queen Anne's County will benefit when people of all ages, abilities, and backgrounds are welcome, included, and supported. And whereas Queen Anne's County recognizes our need to create a community that provides the services and supports older Americans need to thrive and live independently for as long as possible. And whereas Queen Anne's County worked to build an even better community for our older residents by planning programs that encourage independence, ensuring activities are responsive to individual needs and preferences, increasing access to services that support aging in place. Now, therefore, we, the County Commissioners of Queen Anne's County, do hereby proclaim May 2022 to be Older American Month. We urge every resident to recognize the contributions of our older citizens, help to create an inclusive society, and joint efforts to support older Americans' choices. How about or how uh, they choices on how they age in our community? And it's signed by the county commissioners. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, well, in light of that, um, uh, you all know my Chief of Aging and Transportation, Annie Sparks, and I have a couple of other um, administrative staff members, Ann Van Ben Schoten mm -hmm. and Stacy Voorhees um, in the audience with me today. So we wanted to start with the Older Americans Month to um, highlight that and also talk about the Senior Spirit Week coming up. Typically, um, as you all will recall, we held the Senior Summit this time every year. Um, we have not had it since COVID. We are hoping to gear that back up for next year. But in, in light of the celebrations, um, Annie has a great agenda for Spirit Week to share with everyone that local, other local um, businesses and agencies and, and um, organizations will participate with us um, for fun and to show the spirit of the Older Americans Act Month. All right, so without further ado, for Spirit Week this year, bringing it back since reopening, it will be going on May 16th through May 20th. So Monday, May 16th will be Sports Team Day. We've got some sports fans here today. And then on Tuesday, May 17th will be Beach Day. Wednesday, May 18th will be Way Back Wednesday, so dressing in your favorite decade. And then Thursday, May 19th, will be virtual meeting day. We'll still be in person, but we will be wearing pajama bottoms uh, on the bottom and then a business top on the top. So we'll be ready for anything that day. <laughs> and then on Friday, May 20th, we will have USA Day wearing red, white, or blue. And this is all leading up to that Friday, which is our spring fling date at the Ken Island Senior Center for senior center members throughout the county to attend. It's a very popular event, which we'll see a lot of you there. We have Commissioner DJ Jack Wilson on the mic, and we're very much looking forward to that. So we, like as Kathy said, we are inviting all area businesses, um, 
any citizens, uh, companies that want to support Older Americans Month to please participate in Spirit Week with us. And I want to thank Stacy Voorhees for taking the lead on this planning, who is the Senior Center Administrator. Thank you, Annie. So I expect to come over to the Liberty Building and find you all in your pajama pants on Thursday. So um, <laughs> to go on from there, I don't know that I can top that one, but uh, Midshore Pro Bono is back and working in person with our um, constituents. And they held a senior law day just last week at the Kramer Center. And they are working on advanced medical directors for directives for folks and any kind of legal planning things they um, need. They will be um, coming back regularly to the, the senior centers in J June or July at this point to assist those persons who need it. And that's something that hasn't happened since prior to COVID. So we're very excited for that because of the, you know, smaller legal needs that folks need and um, maybe can't get access to. So um, that's a big, big benefit. Also, with the um, Community Care Division, we have the program specialists that have finally returned to the senior centers. Um, for all of the history of the Department of Aging, we have program specialists who are basically experts in benefits counseling and um, any kind of programs a person might be eligible for to help them remain at home or utilize any extra services they would go to the senior centers on a regular basis and meet with the individuals at the centers. Um, that, of course, was affected by COVID as well, so we're excited that they're back in the centers on a regular basis, and their schedules have been full. They have had full sign-up sheets every day they've been back, so the seniors are happy to have them there. Um, we also have senior center trips coming up and that haven't been on the slate for a long time. So Annie has an update about what's going on in the senior centers in regards to trips. Right, we did have our full year of trips planned in 2020, so the, none of those happened. So our, the last trip we did have was 2019. So our the most popular request outside of Pickin and Grinnin has been when are the trips coming back. So with that said, we do have our first trips registration open, which is to Chesapeake City with pickup locations from the three senior centers. And that trip will be on Thursday, June 16th. Registration is currently open. And that trip takes the motor coach to Chesapeake City with a visit to the CND Canal Museum, followed by lunch at Chesapeake Inn Restaurant and Marina with some free time in between to do some shopping, touring the town, things like that. So registration is open now through May 31st. And again, the trip date is June 16th. So very exciting. And then w throughout the year, a couple other trips that will be coming up to note will be a riverboat cruise and crab feast coming this fall and the ever popular Christmas show at a theater in December. So very exciting. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and to, to end our little um, update here, um, Mike was sorry he couldn't be here today. He's um, traveling in the beautiful state of Florida, bringing another child home from college after picking up another one over the past weekend. So it is that time of year. Um, we're glad our kids are in person and doing their thing. So um, as you all know, he implemented a housing study um, over the past couple of years. It was completed in April of 2021, and it is now on the county website for people to view because we have such um, a need and demand for affordable housing in Queen Anne's County. We run into this not only with the senior population, but through all of the homeless prevention programs in trying to place folks. And uh, nine times out of 10, when we're placing someone in a homeless situation, we're placing them outside of Queen Anne's County. So this is something that's very near and dear to us as a, an entire um, department with, with not only the housing and um, families, children, and seniors. So this is something that's very important. So it is out there. Um, and of course, we have, we have our processes of working through local housing and um, getting the best benefit we can. So um, we look forward to, to working with that in the future. And that's about all we have right now. Just a quick question: sure. the, um, the housing, uh, affordable housing study that uh, was worked on, uh, where on the county website is it? What, what tab is it under? Um, it's you know? right under the. Let's see. 
copy can be downloaded on the um, Department of Housing and Community De Development on the on our site through Mike's um, page for Division of Housing and Community okay. Services. All right, that was just for anybody who was sure. No, no, that's going to be watching in the next couple of days. Thank you. Good. You're welcome. <clears throat> Any other questions? I probably have Beth could also do we have a link for that. On sure. Facebook, so people can who are interested can find it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Perfect. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Yeah.